Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video we're going to be looking at book three in the Last Apprentice series. Um, if you're English, the title of this book is The Spook's Secret and it is part of the Wardstone Chronicles. So sometimes I remember to say that or not. The author is Joseph Delaney. If you have not seen at least my introduction, the first two, at least the first two book reviews for this series, stop, go back, check, otherwise this will not make sense. This book series has to be read in order, otherwise it does not make sense. So let's get to this one. So again, the English, my American titles, this is the Night of the Soul Stealer or the Spook's Secret, both of which I think the Spook's Secret fits a little bit better. So in this book, Tom and Alice and John Gregory go to his um, winter home, which is in, I think it tells me, um, where the heck is it? I can't even, pronou even pronounce this. It, it, it's the Angel's Arcs. I probably mispronounced this. So, and there's a few things that go on in this one. So at this house, um, Alice is dropped off at the home of friends of the spooks. Turns out he's supposed to be, she's supposed to kind of be spying on a former apprentice of his who um, has issues. He wants to raise the dead. Uh, we'll get to him. And they're not, they were kind of foster parents to him and he's kind of nasty. Like really, really nasty. He left being the spooks apprentice. He didn't finish his training because he wanted to raise the dead rather than, you know, control it. But back to the house. So they get to his winter house and this is where uh, he meet, uh, Tom meets Meg. Meg is a Lima witch who John Gregory was in love with. So he could not essentially lock her up and allow her to become a feral Lima, which looks more like a monster. And she looks more, obviously Meg looks far more human like a beautiful woman. He keeps her asleep and drugged, essentially in the basement of his house all summer long. And then he wakes her up and he keeps her drugged because her sister is trapped, is, uh, Marcia is, Marcia is down in the basement as a feral, um, along with a whole bunch of other witches because that's what he does. Because again, he doesn't have a garden here. He's on the edge of this moor. Um, so. In the course of this story, a couple of things happen. Um, Tom meets Meg. Alice eventually releases, stops drugging Meg. Meg gets pissed off. Uh, imprisons Gregory because she's ticked off because he's, um, essentially he's been drugging her, imprisoned her sister for a very, very long time. Um, so she's pissed off. Good reason to be pissed off. But, um, and then the other important thing is Tom's father dies. Uh, so he found out he was sick in the previous book. He does in fact die. Tom does not because of this pissed off former apprentice of Gregory's. He doesn't find out until a couple weeks later. So all of, but one of his brothers is already gone. He's, his mother's disappeared. His older brother is kind of ticked off because their mother left her room to Tom. Which she already, Tom already knew this. So, and it's in the will. So, because there's stuff in this room. Turns out there's some interesting stuff in that room. But that's the next book. Um, interesting stuff in that room that they continue to mess around with. Uh, but moving on. So, his brother's not happy about this because his brother doesn't like Tom and the dark wandering around his home. Again, other issues arrive in different books. Um, moving on. So, that happens. And his mother disappears. Um, you learn more about what's going on with mom later. Because um, lots of stuff going on with mom. Mom has some nice secrets. <laughs> this book series gets interesting. Um, so the thing that's really happening in this book, besides Meg, of course, gets loose and gets pissed, is this former other apprentice tries to use, um, he's, cat, he's, he's a necromancer. And he wants to raise this monster, Goliath. And he uses his powers to capture Tom's father's soul and to force Tom to help him. And 
he drags him to these long burrows. If you're not familiar with English history, the long burrows, short burrows, they were burial mounds. So he drags Tom with him and creates this circle and summons this Goliath. The problem is the spell had been screwed with by Gregory and Goliath shows up inside this circle rather than outside, kills its summoner, and then is still stuck. So it goes back. Unfortunately, it gets pissed off and Tom gets stuck in this burial mound. And Marsha digs him out because he's been dragged. And so he's able to get out. And what Gregory eventually tells him is that he made a deal with Meg. Essentially, she and Marsha are going to go home. So they put Marsha in, basically let her, put her to sleep, put her in a coffin, and they get on a sheep and go back to Greece because they are Lima witch witches. And this is where they originate. You actually, as far as I know where I'm at, you never see them again, despite the fact that you actually do end up in Greece. That's later books. Bad things happen. This is, this book is the last of the, what I would consider episodic of the series where you were doing a lot of world building and certain things are going on. You're learning some backstory. The next book is The Attack of the Fiend, which is when things blow up. So this is the first two books are very world building, character building, and solidifying this world to an extent. In the next book, you get the ultimate evil and the ongoing uh, story of this series. So you're getting some of the pieces here, particularly with his mother. Tom's mom and uh, Gregory's backstory and a little bit more of Alice's court, uh, character development and how she can sometimes, her and Gregory don't get along and they distrust each other and some of the strange things that are going on. So um, fantastic book. Again, this is the third book in a series. This still has the journals in the back. So you see all the maps. And I love you learn about necromancers and all sorts of things. So um, again, this is the third book in the series. So be sure to look forward to the rest. Again, there's 13 books totals and I am covering all of them. And these are very, very dark. Um, check out the first two books in the series. I have an whole introduction. This can be read aloud to younger kids, but it's really, really dark. So if they scare easily, don't go anywhere near this book series period. You will freak them out to, yeah, it gets very, very dark. I do not want to always read these books at night because it's creepy. So if your kid loves really scary stuff and they want to be terrified, um, have at it. Otherwise, maybe later, about well, fifth, sixth grade, and the youngest for these book series on reading on their own. So um, closer to middle school, but again, depending on reading level. So but uh, once again, scary. All right, so that's the end of this book review. Yes, it's a brief overview. It's been a while since I've read this book. Um, my computer was out of commission for about two weeks and it takes a while to get the physical copies. Sometimes I read these in ebook form, but it's easier to film with the uh, physical copies. So sometimes I have to wait. So that's the end of this review. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Check out, wait, uh, the rest of the reviews are coming. I'm also, strangely enough, going to try to cover the bloody film. I don't know why. I've heard it's horrible. Um, I do a lot of other children's books. I do funner stuff. This is the darkest, at least on the fiction range, that I've covered. Um, that's because it's not entirely my taste, but I started this book series years ago and I wanted to uh, finish reading it and throw it on the channel for you because it's good and it's dark. But again, not entirely my taste. Uh, looking forward to reading something that's more light-hearted. But be sure to check out the rest of the channel. A lot of book reviews, children's book reviews, a lot of film reviews, older stuff. I'm not doing modern stuff. I have a small child. I don't go to the movies. As of this filming, she's two. As of the time you guys see it, she'll be three. Again, we don't go out. Um, but we're also going to have travel videos on here. Hopefully by the time you see this, we'll have a lot more. This is being shot in 2021. Um, pandemic is still going on. So as well as, of course, as my child gets older, we are a secular homeschooling family. So we will, I'll be adding those videos as time goes on and my child gets older. So like and subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you.